Hi, uh, my name is Eduardo Ribeiro. Uh, I'm making this video for uh, one one uh, single purpose. Uh, I'm doing a, a course right now and, and most of the uh, students in my class, my colleagues, uh, were all having some difficulties to compile an uh, Unreal script. Uh, so I, I've been watching a lot of videos on the internet and all of the videos there, there was always something wrong with it so I kind of figure out how to do this so I'm I'm just trying to uh, to help right now all right uh, first thing uh, we need to download the Enfringe uh, plugin for the Visual Studio 2010 uh, this is the website Right. Uh, it seems that the uh, the cursor is not is not appearing on on the video. But anyway, I'll, I'll just go slow so uh, we can see where where to do this. Okay, just click here uh, to download and, and install it. All right. Uh, once it's uh, installed, uh, we're gonna create a new project that's how it appears after you install the plugin uh, we're gonna select Unreal Engine 3 license uh, project I'm gonna name it uh, my game uh, the location of the file uh, it's very important so you know it's going to be created inside the uh, UDK environment I have two versions the uh, uh, the latest one and, and the month 4 and month 10 alright uh, the the directory location for the file will be on the uh, development uh, uh, source code directory it's UDK development source code I'm trying to go slow here so you know I, I can make this happen all right uh, one more thing uh, don't forget to uncheck the create directory for solution you you want to leave that blank you don't want it to to create the directory all right we're gonna close visual visual studio and we're gonna open the folder where the uh, the directory wa was created okay and it should be under uh, development source code and my game now we're gonna select these two files and we're gonna cut we're gonna remove it up one level uh, just click back and you want to paste the files here now if you double click on my game uh, it will automatic start Visual Studio you know everything set up for the uh, you know on the on the uh, UDK environment I'm trying to go slow here because I you know it took me almost all day to make this happen to make this work so you know I, I just want to help my colleagues you know and show them how how I did it all right uh, now we're gonna right click on my game and then properties now uh, we're gonna select unreal engine 3 mod so you know we have access to the uh, uh, preference source path uh, all right, the UCC path, uh, it's going to be uh, UDK. I'm going to go back here just to show. The UCC path is the first one. Uh, UDK, any version really of the Unreal Game Engine. 
binaries make sure you select win32 and udk.exe it will work with the one inside just the binaries directory but it won't work very well you know when you try to compile now the preference source path will be I'll, I'll, you know I'll, I'm, I'm starting from you know zero so you can follow the path directory C UDK UDK 2010 10 you can use anyone really development and source code SRC directory just click OK that's on the general tab that's correct alright now under build uh, you want to check manually set UCC output directory that's where the scripts are gonna be generated uh, C drive UDK UDK 2010 10 UDK game and scripts All right, just double check everything. Yep. Okay, now the debug. We're gonna use the same path as you know the uh, UDK.exe, UDK, UDK 2010-10, binaries, Win32. And udk.exe. We're going to load map at startup. I'm uh, going to load, you know, the map. I, I just created this map, and, uh, you know, you, you got to make sure the, your map is there so you can start up start with the uh, specific uh, game type uh, my game dot my game info enable un unpublish mods Now we're gonna exit. I like to exit sometimes because even if you click save on the on the top button there, it, it doesn't save everything on it. So when you click exit, it will ask you if you want to save the project. So restart uh, Visual Studio. All right, double check here. My game dot my game info. Yeah, that's correct. All right, I'm gonna test it. Uh, gonna test build it now. See if it works. All right. Gonna open this up. So gonna build solution. This is, you know, just uh, compiling the, uh, you know, the files that are, are already in the engine there. But we're going to add a folder with, you know, um, our work right now. Just wait until this gets done here. So no, uh, no problems, nothing failed. All right. I 
we're gonna right click on game my game add new folder I'm gonna call this uh, uh, jogo that that means uh, game in Portuguese you can call it however you want we're gonna right click on jogo add new folder we're gonna add classes now right click on classes right click and add new item now we're gonna add the unreal script file we're gonna call that my game info click add now we're gonna change a few things here now uh, so far the uh, IntelliSense is already you know uh, parsing everything in you know in with, with on the uh, uh, Unreal script so uh, I'm gonna exit uh, make sure you save everything now when you go back in uh, when you start coding now uh, you know the IntelliSense will will start helping you you know if you you know with syntax errors and stuff like that Like I said, I'm I'm just trying to help, you know, everybody who's having trouble doing this. I was one of them. All right, uh, just gonna wait until uh, parsing is done. Parser. All right, zero items remaining. Okay, gonna delete this. Gonna change here. UT deathmatch. Function. Start match. Super UT game dot start match. Uh, this is going to be our function for you know, our script. means that after the game starts you know our function is gonna run so uh, on this here uh, we don't really need to change anything here you know so I'll just type uh, point at this function kind of uh, separated here from the rest of the code I'm trying to make this really simple huh? all right now our function function our code and here we're just gonna do something you know really simple just tilde log just gonna print my name on the console alright this should be it gonna save